I am 55 years old and two years ago I weighed 32 pounds heavier. Enough was enough and I decided to lose the weight. I lost 32 pounds within three or four months, but I've managed to keep it off as well, eating only 100% plant-based. Here's a typical what I eat in a day, home-cooked plant-based food. Everyone, oh, bug. <laughs> Every morning I start with a big mug of freshly brewed coffee and I walk around the orchard with the girls to get myself woken up. I'm ready to go work out now, get in my half hour of exercise. People ask me what I eat for breakfast every day, so I'm gonna show you what I've got today. Let me just tip that down a little bit. So I've got some watermelon left in the fridge, a small um, cantaloupe melon, a pair that's seen better days, and a couple of bananas that are about to go off today. So I'm gonna make those into a fruit salad, and then for a drink, I'm feeling a bit naughty this morning, so I'm going to put three limes in the blender with some vegan condensed milk, a little bit of water, and I'm gonna make myself the most amazing lime energy drink. It's not healthy, it's got sugar in it, but um, you know what, I'm eating vegetables the rest of the day, so it's okay to eat a little bit of crap for breakfast. There's no exact measurements here. The three limes go in the jug, and then I'm just gonna open this can of vegan condensed milk. Give it a bit of a stir, look at that. Whoa. Uh, probably two tablespoons, two, two tablespoons-ish of that. Slug of water. Whack it in the blender with the peel, with the pips, everything. Okay, I'm not saying this is healthy. This is some um, agave, agave. I don't even know how to say it. So just drizzle a little bit round the, oh, round the glass, drizzle a little bit, because this is quite tart. And then, I mean, this is not healthy. I'm not saying it is. This is a morning treat. Oh, look at that colour. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it needed a little bit of a straw. Yes, yes, yes. Mmm. It'd be really good with some rum in it, but it's 8 a.m. Probably a bad idea. So I'm going to have half of this melon. Probably going to eat all of that melon and the two bananas. Some sunflower seeds. There's my big old bowl of fruit salad. I only went with one banana because I'm not going to eat all of this. This is a lot of food. And then, oh, my husband's just back with the dogs. And then to that, I'm going to add a couple of spoonfuls of silken tofu and a little drizzle of the lime drink that I made. And that's my breakfast. It's huge, but it's mostly fruit. Okay, for lunch today, we have got some tofu. This has got seaweed in it. It comes ready with it in. It's one euro 90. And what I've done is I've sliced it up and I have dipped it in corn flour. Then I've got some vegan milk, which I have mixed with apple cider. <laughs> apple cider vinegar, which makes um, vegan sour cream. And then in another bowl, I've got some crushed cornflakes and some ready-made breadcrumbs. So take the tofu that's dipped in corn flour, give it a little dunk in there, and then drop it into the breadcrumbs. Push it down, make sure the breadcrumbs are all on there. And then that's ready to either go in the air fryer or you can fry it in some coconut oil on the hob. So that's what we've got is tofu. And with that, showing you what I'm making, I'm going to make a sauce. So I've got some hoisin sauce left in here, probably about a tablespoon, but not enough for our lunch. So to that, I'm going to add some mugi miso. I don't know how you say that. So I'll probably add, I won't put you through the pain of this, but I'll, I'll probably add a tablespoon of that. Pineapple juice. As I can, juice out of there. Some sesame oil, about a tablespoon, and then I'm just gonna grab the soy sauce about a tablespoon of soy sauce, and then we're gonna give it a good shake. And I'm gonna heat that with a little bit of corn flour, and that's gonna be my sauce for lunch today. So, 
told you about the tofu, told you about the sauce. I've got a plate of courgettes they needed using up, so I've just roasted those in the air fryer and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil and soy sauce over those. And then for my veggies today, I've got pak choy, button mushrooms, red pepper. So my husband doesn't like pak choy, but he does like red peppers and mushrooms. And then I'm also going to do with the pak choy some bean sprouts. I managed to get some bean sprouts today. So all of that, I'm going to go prepare it, put it on the plate. Not having rice today, we're having quinoa, which I've cooked in the rice cooker as if it were rice. And we're going to have that, so it's higher protein than rice. So let's take a look and see what the finished meal looks like. So this is a side dish of courgettes that I've roasted in the air fryer for 10 minutes with a little bit of coconut oil. I've drizzled on some toasted sesame oil, and now I'm going to add some ponzu, which is soy sauce with a little bit of added citrus. And I'm going to serve that as a room temperature side dish for my main meal. I nearly forgot to add the most important thing and that is toasted sesame seeds on the top. My quinoa has been keeping warm in the rice cooker so that's ready to go on my plate. Stir fried veggies, I've got bean sprouts, mushrooms, pineapple and red bell pepper, steamed pak choy, and then my lovely room temperature courgette sesame salad. My crispy tofu. So I'll pop three of those on there. Some cashew nuts. Air fryer, three minutes, no longer they burn. This is the sauce that I made in a jar. So I'm just going to drizzle over the sauce. And that's my lunch for today. The sauce is amazing. If you just want to make a quick sauce at home, use pineapple juice, hoisin sauce, and a little bit of sesame oil. Mm. In the air fryer for 10 minutes, and the last three minutes, throw in the cashew nuts, and they will be toasted to perfection. Mm. If you enjoyed my video today, don't forget to hit the like button, give me a follow, and of course, share me with your friends.